Hello students and welcome back to bankexamstudy.com. My name is Ramandeep Singh and today we are going to do the analysis of Union Budget 2023. So the budget students that we are going to do, the analysis that we are going to do, we are going to focus on comparative exams. The kind of questions that you can expect in the exam, uh, that's how we are going to study today. That's how we are going to do the analysis. While teaching, I'm going to mark stars on important point. Before starting the session for Union Budget 2023 analysis, students, let me tell you that we have started the Central Bank of India 2023 Scale 3 Scale 4 course by the team Bank Exams today. So students, we are providing complete syllabus coverage with the help of video classes. There are proper notes, handwritten notes that you can obviously we have typed it. You can download these notes, you can take the printouts. So we are already working on full length test series. We are going to provide a proper question bank. There are proper live doubt clearing sessions, proper quizzes, and you can WhatsApp your doubts at 9067201000. Link to join the course is available in the description. And if there is any doubt in your mind, you can WhatsApp us, right? So let's start the session. So let's start the session with the seven priorities. Nirmala Sitharaman, while she was giving the budget speech in the beginning, she told us about Saptarishi or seven priorities of the budget, right? So what are the seven priorities? It starts with the inclusive development. So inclusive development is there, infrastructure and investment, unleashing the potential, green growth, financial sector, youth power, and then reaching the last mile. So once that is the seven goals or seven priorities are done, then uh, the tax reforms, I mean change in the taxes or budget allocation to various schemes. So that would be discussed. Okay. So how to reach the Amrit Kal. So in the last budget speech, Amrit Kal ke mein, there was a discussion. So let's start the session with inclusive development, whatever has been done and what is the plan of the government okay so whatever is the plan of government that's what we're going to discuss building digital public infrastructure so the government is going to build the digital public infrastructure building accessible inclusive and informative solution for farmers wherever the topics are important for exams i'm going to mark it for you Setting up Agriculture Accelerator Fund. So the government is going to set up an Agriculture Accelerator Fund. The goal is to help the startups, encourage the startups to bring innovation in the agriculture sector. Okay, so that is important. Horticulture Clean Plant Program to be launched and the targeted fund, uh, funding towards the agriculture sector is 20 lakh crore. So that number is itself important. 20 lakh crore ka target is there for agriculture credit targeted at uh, animal husbandry, dairy and fishery sector. So 20 lakh crore ka tar uh, credit target hai government ka that is also very important. <coughs> Making India the global hub for millets. So millets or Sri Anna. So various, uh, uh, you know, grains are there which are popular in the ancient India, for example, barley. A lot of greens uh, that were mentioned in the budget speech, barley is one of them. Ragi, barley, um, six, seven greens were told by our, uh, by the finance minister. So India is going to be a global hub for such millets, uh, Sri Anna, okay. And the support would be given to IIMR Hyderabad for promoting research into these millets, okay, in these Sri Annas, okay. So three honors, even that is important. The government of India is going to give support for uh, three honors. <clears throat> Setting up wildly available storage capacity right now uh, in India, the we are actually lagging behind uh, in terms of storage. We don't have proper cold storage facilities for farmers. So that is why the farmers, they are selling their crops at lower prices. Sometimes they sell it at very low price. But now uh, the government of India is going to provide support for storage capacity, for building the storage capacities. Okay, important. 
more credit to the agriculture sector is going to be provided we have already done that so 20 lakh crore ka uh, jo hai target hai target funding hai important from from examination point of view the three and support to be given to imm iimr hyderabad so two stars please note that so record food grain production is there in india you can see uh, 320 million ton around that okay for the health sector 157 new nursing college to be established in india important point from uh, pointers are in the health sector 2.1% of the gdp would be uh, allocated to the health and 2.9% no, uh, uh, of the gdp is allocated towards education so these two pointers are important 2.1 towards health and 2.9 towards education 157 new nursing colleges to be established uh, sickle cell anemia elimination mission to be launched so it is to be launched till now no information is there whenever it is launched we we'll let you know okay new program to promote research in pharmaceutical to be launched joint uh, public and private medical research to be encouraged by icmr labs so two stars are there wherever there are stars that is what you are supposed to remember okay please remember that a uh, revamped teachers training via district uh, institutes of education and training and national di uh, digital library is to be set up for children and adolescents and states will be encouraged to set up physical libraries at panchayat at ward levels that's what the government has suggested the big tent that accommodates all so for the inclusive development what the government has done 9 crore uh, drinking water connections to the rural houses has been given uh 11.7 crore toilets has been constructed under uh sbm and so sbm is swachh bharat mission 11.7 crore household toilets has been constructed under swachh bharat mission 9.6 crore lpg connections has been allotted under ujjwala yojana 220 crore covid vaccinations has been given 202 crore persons 47.8 pm jandhan bank account has been opened and insurance cover for 44.6 crore persons under pradhan mantri suraksha bima yojana and pradhan mantri jeevan jyoti yojana has been given to 44.6 crore huge number cash transfer of 2.2 lakh crore to over 11.4 crore farmers has been given under pm kisan yojana so this whole slide is very very important you should know how many jandhan accounts are there in india this is the latest number 47.8 crore uh, jandhan accounts are there in india so all these numbers are very important uh, landmark schemes so please remember these numbers so growth remain resilient what we do is we maintain the latest numbers so no need to remember that the urban unemployment rate at a four year low of 7.2% it was at 20.9% at the time of covid but it is now at 7.2% quite reasonable reaching the last mile pradhan mantri development uh, pvtg uh, to be launched so particularly vulnerable tribal group development mission to be launched financial assistance to be given for sustainable micro irrigation in the drought prone regions of karnataka so more teachers to be recruited for 740 eklavya model residential schools and bharat shri to be set up for digitization of ancient uh, inscriptions okay so all these are plans okay not implemented yet okay whenever they are uh, implemented we'll just let you know infrastructure and investment incentives to boost investments in the infrastructure and productive capacities so that will have a multiplier effect if the government is investing uh, in these projects it will uh, lead to employment and thus growth in the economy increased capital investment outlay by 33.4% to 10 lakh crore so if the government is spending more money in the economy that will have a multiplier effect so that will give employment to the uh, 
general public and then they'll spend money so it'll have a multiplier effect okay more people will get employment continuation of 50 year interest free loan to the state governments to incentivize infrastructure investment highest ever capital outlay of 2.4 lakh crore for indian railways so important these are important okay 100 transport infrastructure projects to be identified for end-to-end -end connectivity of port coal steel and fertilizers sectors and creating urban infrastructure in tier 2 and tier 3 cities via uh, establishment of urban infrastructure development fund so this full form is also very important okay unleashing the potential trust based governance make ai in india three specialized ai centers to be set up in educational institutes in india national data governance policy to be introduced vivaad se vishwas less stringent contract execution for msmes so vivaad se vishwas to easier and standardized settlement for tax settlement for msmes phase 3 of e courts to be launched and entity uh, dg locker to be set up for use by business enterprises and charitable trust one important change in uh, kyc is there pan would be one stop solution for the verification of business entities so pan would is already linked to the aadhaar so pan can be used by business entities and no other documentation is required everything would be linked to pan setting up of 100 labs for 5g services based application development and r d grant for lab grown diamond sector so the government is going to do that so wherever i am giving stars that is important the pm pranam to be launched will incentivize states and uts to promote uh, to promote usage of alternative fertilizers so pm pranam pm pranam ka full form that's these are really really important uh, PM program for restoration, awareness, nourishment and amelioration of Mother Earth. Okay, Mishit Mangrove Initiative for Shoreline Habitats and Tangible Incomes. Gobardhan Galvanizing Organic Bioagro Resource. From examination point of view, these full forms are very important. 50 new ways to wealth plants to be started uh, under the Gobardhan scheme. So Gobardhan scheme ka full form is there. So you have to, you need to remember that important from examination point of view sustainable ecosystem development misty to be taken up for mangrove plantation along with coastline coastline ke, uh, alongside mangrove plantation ka plan hai another initiatives are there setting up 10,000 bio input resource center to facilitate farmers to adopt natural farming promotion of battery energy storage systems and promotion of coastal shipping for energy efficient uh, transportation Funds to be allocated for replacing old polluting vehicles. So that's a plan of government. Okay. So Pradhan Mantri Kaushal Vikas 4.0 to be launched. Till now it is very successful. Although many centers have been closed. The Kaushal Vikas uh, centers has been closed. But now the government is going to teach coding, AI, robotics, 3D printing in the Pradhan Mantri Kaushal Vikas. Uh, under this scheme, various centers would teach coding, AI, robotics and 3D printing. Measures to boost tourism sector, at least 50 destinations to be selected. Uh, through challenge mode, they are to be developed as complete package for domestic and foreign tourists. States will be encouraged to set up unity malls okay, for promotion uh, and sale of under the UDU plan, one district, one product, okay, handicraft and uh, geographic indication products so in one district should be popular for one product only uh, in the financial sector setting up of national financial information registry to enable efficient lending and promote financial inclusion enhance financial stability so this financial information registry would help uh, the you know the, the people to get loans right because transparent information is available related to the credit worthiness, the credit history of the borrowers, right? Setting up of central data processing center for faster handling of administration, administrative work under the Companies Act and credit guarantee scheme for MSMEs. 
So expanded corpus under a revamped scheme to enable additional collateral free granted uh, credit of 2 lakh crores. So credit guarantee scheme for MSMEs, it has been uh, the corpus has been increased to 2 lakh crore. Very important. Abhi nea corpus hai 2 lakh crore. Mahila Samman Bachat Patra. One time new small saving scheme for female available for two year period with a deposit facility of rupees 2 lakh for women. So Mahila Samman Bachat Patra, very important. Another benefit for the senior citizens. So the senior citizens at the time of retirement, uh, they get money, right? Uh, so enhanced maximum deposit limit for senior citizen saving scheme has been increased from 15 lakhs to 30 lakhs. Okay. So the money that the senior citizens can deposit in their account, I mean, in the in the particular scheme, the senior citizen saving scheme, it has been increased from 15 lakhs to 30 lakhs, a good step. Other initiatives are there initiative to promote business activities and gift IFSCs, create more trained professionals in security market via award of educational certifications. Okay. Fiscal management 50 year interest free loans to the states already told you that and fiscal deficit uh, of 3.5% of gross state domestic product uh, 0.5 tied to the power sector reform. So that is important. The target the fiscal deficit target is 4.5% by 2025 26. So repeated multiple times in the budget speech. So Indian economy backed by strong macroeconomics fundamentals. So the government of India, they are focusing 4.5 fiscal deficit. Although right now the fiscal deficit is at 5.9%, but we are targeting 4.5%. Okay, eventually. So GST monthly revenue continues to be around 1.5 lakh crore. So it is stabilized at 1.5 lakh crore. Although it uh, rose to more than 1.6 lakh crore in the month of April, but now it is around 1.5 lakh crores. So increase in capital expenditure by the union government already told you about that asset quality NPA ka number is down in the month of March 2020. The NPA was 8.2%. So which then uh, reduced to 7.3% in March 2021 which was then reduced to 8.5.8% in March 2022 and it is 5% in September 2022. So NPA is lower, not really important from examination point of view. And we have sufficient foreign exchange reserves which keeps on changing, right? Your reserve kafi change hota rehta hai. And then no need to remember that. But you should know it is right now it is around 575, uh, 570, 580 billion US dollars right now it is around that and we we can cover around 10 months of our import with that reserve okay so wholesale prices are almost uh, you know quite the whole uh, the inflation the consumer price inflation and wholesale price inflation they are almost similar the same sour not really important from examination point of view certain tax proposals are there the target uh, which are targeting the higher exports uh, higher domestic manufacturing uh, more value addition in the economy, green energy and mobility. These are the goals for the tax proposals. So certain goods are to be uh, are going to be cheaper. And certain goods are going to be more expensive. Lithium ion battery is going to be cheaper. Camera lenses are going to be cheaper. Denatured ethyl lenses are going to be cheaper. So key inputs for shrimp feed is going to be cheaper. Seeds for manufacturing lab grown diamonds is going to be cheaper uh, and the copper scrap is going to be cheaper, right? It's copper, I guess. Compounded rubber uh, is going to be cheaper, right? Certain products chimney is going to be expensive, not really important from examination point of view, but this one is important now onwards. 45% of the returns on uh, taxpayers portals were processed within 24 hours. Average processing period has been reduced from 93 days to 16 days within the last eight years and processed more than 6.5 crore returns this year. And the tax slabs rebate of income tax increased from 5 lakhs to 7 lakhs. 
under the new regime, if your income is up to 7 lakhs, no need to pay any tax, you'll get the rebate. Okay, you will get the rebate. So 7 lakh is a new limit, it used to be 5 lakhs. So that is important, the new uh, rebate. All these are under new regime, there are two regimes, old regime and new regime, whatever we are discussing is under the new regime. Tax labs under the new tax regime, 0 to 2, 3 lakhs, nil, 3 to 6 lakh, 5%, uh, 6 to 9 lakhs, 10%, 9 to 12, 15%, 12 to 15, 20%, above 15 lakhs, it is 30%. So this one is important. The tax rates are important. Please remember that. So highest surcharge rate on income above 5 crore to be reduced from 37% to 25%. The highest surcharge rate on income above 5 crore, which surcharge ka rate hai, above the income of 5 crore, it is going to be reduced from 37% to 25% in the new regime. And the standard deduction ka benefit, the 50,000 ka jo benefit milta hai in the old regime, uh, now it is given in the new regime. It's available to the salaried class and pensioners, jo standard deduction milta hai, now it is available to the, uh, in the new tax regime, pehle old mein available tha. Increasing the tax exemption limit to 50 lakh, 25 lakh, sorry, 25 lakh rupees, on leave encashment on retirement of non-government salaried employees. So government employees ka already exempted hai. But for non-government employees, it is exempted up to 25 lakhs. So the tax benefits to the MSMEs enhanced limits. Uh, see if the 95%, if 95% of your tax of your receipts are non-cash, if 95% of the receipts are digital UPI or whatever, you can you avail the benefit of presumptive taxation. So what is presumptive taxation? Revenue ka 6%, 6% of your uh, revenue. Uh, on that revenue, 6% is a tax. That's all, 6% taxes. So that limit has been increased. Uh, now that limit is 3 crore. 3 crore in, and 75 lakhs in certain professions. 3 crore for businesses, 75 lakhs for certain professions. Okay. So very important. It was 2 crores. It was 2 crore, but now it has been enhanced to 3 crores. It was, I guess, 50 lakhs, but it has been enhanced to 75 lakhs for professionals. Okay. Cooperatives, 15% corporate tax benefit to the new cooperatives in the manufacturing. And this benefit has been extended if the the business is commenced, commencing its manufacturing till 31st of March 2024. The highest limit of 2 lakh per member for deposit and loans and cash uh, in the uh, the PSES and PE cards. Hold on. So the PSES is Primary Agriculture Credit Society. The PSES is Primary Agriculture Credit Society. And the prime the the PCARDBS is Primary Cooperative Agriculture and Rural Development Bank. Okay. Primary Cooperative Agriculture and Rural Development Bank. So 2 lakh a limit is there. Higher limit of 3 crore for TDS on cash withdrawals for cooperative society. So higher limit is there for TDS on cash withdrawals for cooperative society. Jo TDS lagta hai for cooperative society that uska limit is 3 crores. The benefit to the startups, it has been extended by another year for all the in, uh, the, in, uh, the income tax benefits that the startups get. Extension has been given uh, to the startups one year. Ka. Okay. And the carry forward of the losses in case the ownership of the shareholding has been transferred. And that can be carry forward to 10 years now. Pehle saath saal tak carry forward kar sakte the, but now it can be carry forward for 10 years. Income of authorities, boards and commissions set up by the statute of union or the state to be exempted from income tax in certain sectors. Extensions of period of tax benefit to funds relocating to IFSC gift cities. So gift city may kuch businesses pay uh, tax benefits. Ye ja rahe hai. So rupee comes from we are taking loans 34% from borrowings, liabilities, 
non tax liabilities are there custom 4% non debt capital receipt 2% is there uh, the goods and service tax of 17% GST 17% corporation tax 15% income tax 15% union excise duty is 7% generally i mean at the time of interview the interviewer may ask you the major uh, what is the major uh, income source for the government after borrowing it is gst okay it's gst and then it's corporation tax and income tax and then excise duty and then custom you should know that okay and rupee goes to the interest payment is a major source of the payment so 20 percent to the interest payments and then the sp uh, centrally sponsored schemes and subsidies defense is eight percent you should know that right uh, education and health i already told you it's in the other expenditure centers uh, states share of taxes and duties 18 percent jata state co finance commission and other transfer nine percent centers uh, sector schemes is 17 percent okay so you should know that okay Allocation for specific ministries, uh, it's not really important from examination point of view. This one is important from examination. Wherever I am marking stars, those pointers are very, very important for examination point of view. Okay. So wherever there are stars, they are very, very important from examination point of view. Okay. Uh, okay. So... So wherever there is a star, please remember that's really, really important. Allocation to specific ministries. This is very, very important anyways. Ministry of Defense uh, in lakh crore, rupees lakh crore, 5.94 lakh crore to defense, 2.70 lakh crore to roads and transport and highways, 2.41 to railways, 2.06 to consumer affairs, food and public distribution, 1.96 to home affairs, 1.782 chemicals and fertilizers, 1.62 rural development, agriculture and farmers welfare, what 1.25 crore, 2.5 lakh crore, 1.23 Ministry of Communication, 1.23 lakh crore. Okay, so these are the allocations towards various various ministries. These are very important, and allocation to various uh, schemes. So it was 100 crore has been allocated in previous year for pharmaceutical industry. Uh, 1,250 crore is allocated towards development of pharmaceutical industries in India. For Jal Jeevan Mission, the budget has been enhanced to 70,000 crore. It was 60,000 crore, but it has been enhanced to 70,000 crore. For Eklavya Model Residential Schools, the budget has been enhanced to 5,943 crores. And for Pradhan Mantri Awas Yojana, the budget has been enhanced from 48,000 crores to 79,590 crores. The budget for the FAME scheme has been enhanced from 2,908 crores to 5,172 crores. For Northeast Special Infrastructure Development Scheme, the budget has been enhanced from 1,490 crores to 2,491 crores. So these numbers are anyways very important. So please remember that. Okay. So wherever there are stars, those pointers are very important. So the revenue receipts are 20, the budgeted revenue receipts are 26.3 lakh crores and capital receipts are 18.7 lakh crores and revenue expenditure 35 lakh crore and effective capital expenditure, the budgeted is 13.7 lakh crores. And that's, I guess, all for today's students. So whatever, wherever I have marked the stars, those pointers are very important from examination point of view. I am also going to do a quiz proper everything that is marked in the in, on the stars I'll do a quiz that will help you to revise so please go, go through this session again twice I would recommend because this session is actually very very important from examination point of view I have noticed that a lot of questions are asked in various exams throughout the year bar bar pooche jate hain. so highly recommended just go through but very important that's all for today students i hope you like the today's session uh from examination point of view we did the budget re, uh, budget session <laughs> on youtube and a lot of other platforms you will get a really interesting uh, i would say uh, research on union budget it's not really relevant for you 
most of the times it is relevant to the share market or for the news sites it is not relevant for you from examination point of view whatever i told you in the whatever is marked as star it is important for you so just go through that and remember that and that's all for today if you want to take out the print i'll give you the pdf at the end of this lecture that's all for today students thank you and have a very nice day bye bye